Hey, hi. Hello, everyone. I'm Naval Yamil. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Data Master. In this video, we are going to break down one of the most misunderstood and very, very powerful concept in Databricks called computes. So many people are confused between the computes in the premium account and the computes in the Databricks free edition. So after this free edition, people are uh, people are confused about where is the all purpose compute and the job compute. So in this video, we will be discussing about all the computes in the premium account and we are going to differentiate it with the Databricks free edition. So let us begin now. We'll see what is compute. So compute in Databricks is like an engine that powers you, powers your notebooks, your jobs and your SQL queries. So different types of workloads need different engines or a computes. So in simple words, your compute is nothing but that helps you to run the notebook or execute a pipeline or you can train the model or you can run a SQL query. So it's like a cluster of virtual machines or the serverless resources managed by the Databricks to process your data. To make it very, very simple. So your compute means it's like a processing power, like it has CPU, it has memory, it has storage that is used to run your code, your notebook, your jobs or your SQL queries. So think compute is like an engine that drives your data workloads. Now let us see what are the different types of computes Databricks offers. So there are different tiers of Databricks standard tier and premium tier. But I'll be just talking about the premium tier where we have all the features like you have Databricks SQL, you have Unity Catalog enabled to it. You have um, you have uh, Delta Live Table, Machine Learning, Gen AI, everything in the premium account. Now, last month, Databricks have also launched a new edition which is an upgradation to the community edition and it's called as a Databricks free edition. Many people are confused in the Databricks free edition. They have signed up, but they are looking for the computes. So yes, I'll be discussing about those. So when you are talking about Databricks premium account here, we used to have majorly three types of computes, all purpose compute, job compute and the serverless SQL. Few months back, Databricks has also launched a serverless compute. So in few minutes, we'll discuss about this. And in the Databricks free edition, we do not have a all purpose compute and the job compute, but Databricks supports serverless. It spins up fast compared to the all purpose compute and the job compute, and it is much faster. Your queries will run faster as compared to the your uh, traditional all purpose and the job compute. So first we'll understand what is all purpose compute, job compute and the serverless and then we'll do some hands on. I mean, I'll show you uh, the differences between all this in a Databricks UI in a Databricks instance. So think like all purpose compute is like your interactive cluster. So if you start a compute, you can use them with your teammates, with your colleagues. You can use it for the notebooks and you can build a collaborative development environment. It's always on unless you terminate it manually or you can set up a termination time. If your compute is inactive for a certain time, then your compute or your cluster terminates automatically. OK, you can do it. And it is basically used for development for your data exploratory analysis or for your machine learning. So we use all purpose compute for the development for collaborative interactive environment. And then we have a job compute. Job compute is basically used for automation. So you build something from the all purpose compute and you want to automate it. Suppose we build a pipeline and we want to automate that pipeline, then we use a job compute. It is ideally used for scheduled jobs, for your task orchestration, for your triggering, for your workflows, we use job compute. So the work of job compute is to turn it on, do the work and then terminate it. So automatically terminates after the execution. And then we have a third type of compute called serverless. So serverless as a name itself indicates you are not managing any servers. Databricks is managing all that. So you don't need to worry about 
which driver how many workers what type of compute do you need how many cores you need you don't need to know anything unlike our all purpose compute and the job compute in serverless everything is managed by the databricks it spins up immediately compared to the all purpose or the job which used to take 5 minutes to start 4 to 5 minutes to start but serverless just spins in 5 seconds so the best use case for serverless is to write your sql queries and for your data analytics people for building up a bi dashboards whether it can be in the databricks or even it can be in any of the bi tool serverless compute would be the best so you are not managing anything all the infrastructure is managed by the databricks so you only pay for what you are querying it that is what the serverless compute is i would like to explain you a simple analogy where with a cars analogy where you would easily understand what are the different types of computes so for that i have picked up a analogy of car for example all purpose compute is like owning your own car so you control everything like to start stop fuel maintenance everything and you use it for the very long drives or for the short trips and so on but you pay for it even when it's parked means even if, if you are not using your compute but your compute is on you are paying for it so in databricks if you are comparing the analogy it's like best for the developers they are doing their exploratory analysis or they are doing their cleaning the data or debugging it for machine learning we use the all-purpose compute in simple words again for development so i would like to add a tagline here like it's full control but full cost too okay so you are controlling everything and you are paying for that then the second is like a job compute so i would just give an analogy for it's like your ola uber or your rapido rides so you only pay when you need the ride so you just book a cab you are not maintaining anything he will come he will just take you to the ride and it will drop you to the destination so you set the destination that is your job and it gets executed efficiently after the drop off the car disappears means there is no maintenance needed so in databricks it's best for scheduled your production jobs or your pipelines the tagline for this would be just in time compute optimized for the delivery we use a job compute just think like a rapido it comes does the work and then goes off then comes the serverless so i would like to give an example of serverless like your electric scooters or maybe your fast moving metros with many many passengers so it's always available you don't need any ownership for that just like a metro you can say is designed for the fast and very short trips like your sql queries and it's ideal for the analytics using their bi tools building up a reports dashboards and so on in databricks if you are comparing it it's best for high concurrency low latency sql workloads so it's just a hop on get the results hop off zero over it you don't need to manage anything that's how the serverless sql warehouse or all the serverless computes work so i hope you enjoyed this simple analogy so if you find this valuable please like my video subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends we are not done yet we will jump on to the databricks workspace two workspaces and understand all the computes by working through the types of computes okay so this is my enterprise account you can see it's microsoft azure databricks even if it's your aws databricks it will be very similar okay and the second tab i'm showing you is my databricks free edition what databricks recently launched uh, we don't need any credit card debit card to get started with this even i have made a separate video on how to get started with the databricks free edition you can watch that so i'll go to the premium account first and just click on the compute and you can see there are varieties of computes here one is all purpose compute second is a job compute so as i mentioned all purpose compute is just like you are maintaining your own car maintaining your own compute you need to decide what would be the number of workers 
what would be the type of the driver how many cores do you need how much gb you need you did need to decide everything so just go to create a compute and you have to decide how many worker nodes you want what would be the driver type whether you want a runtime version that is for data engineering for the machine learning and you do all this even i have made a separate videos on what are the computes if you are new please feel free to check that videos so this is how the all purpose compute works then the job compute you cannot create a job compute from here you can create a job compute either from the notebooks if you are scheduling it or either by using a jobs or pipelines you can use a job compute it's for the automation if you are scheduling something we use a job compute in that case then comes the third type of compute called sql warehouses it's completely serverless it's just like your t-shirt size you just go and say that i want it for the x medium and large you can scale it horizontally you can scale it vertically just give a name and you are done you can create a compute and it takes only five seconds to spin and if you are comparing with either job compute or all-purpose compute that will take five minutes to spin so apart from these three computes databricks offers one more compute called serverless compute and uh, see I, i'll just try to explain you once again in all purpose compute it's for the development you can use it in the notebooks but sql warehouses works only for the sql queries so it works in the notebook also it works in the sql editor also so if your use case is on the data analytics side or bi side we use the sql warehouses but what if i'm a data engineer or i'm coming from a machine learning background i need to use a serverless compute there was no option you have to choose the all purpose compute before but now databricks have recently launched the serverless compute and if you just go and hit on create a new notebook and in the notebook you can get that serverless compute you can see this just go here connect and you can see so one of the serverless compute is always running so you can attach a all purpose compute to this notebook even you can attach this serverless sql warehouse but the limitation for the serverless sql warehouse is it uses only sql you cannot use python or uh, scala language here so maybe for example i'll just quickly start that it takes just a few seconds to start it's a sql warehouse okay this is where most of the people are getting confused now i can write all my sql queries here select star and so on or select run sql and if i if you ask me that can i use python on this so let me switch this to python i'll just write person python and if i just press enter you can see you are getting an error message you are trying to execute the python scripts on the non sql uh, or you are trying to execute non sql cells on the serverless sql warehouse you cannot do it so if i want to test python so we have another compute called serverless so here you don't need to worry about the infrastructure you don't need to worry about your driver node worker node and so on again this spins just in few seconds but you get all the uh, you can see how many computes are there and so on you can check the configuration also of that particular serverless how much memory you are getting and what are the environment you are uh, databricks is providing everything you can get it from here now if i run python it works it works here so print for example run python and this works on the serverless compute okay wow it works now so these are the four types of computes so let me go back to my ppt i guess i was explaining you these four all purpose job compute now you can combine these two and it's within the serverless only so this becomes easy to understand in the free edition so now let me jump on to the free edition and in the free edition there is no compute there is no all-purpose compute there is no job compute many people are getting confused here and they are reaching out to me saying i don't see the jobs uh, all-purpose compute and the job compute why do you need them so they are giving you a premium serverless compute you don't need to manage anything just go to create a notebook hit on to the notebook and you can start developing it focus on developing not to worry about the computes now just go here and you can see serverless compute is there just 
attach it it takes just few seconds to spin and wow you are done you can just start writing all your python scripts sql scripts and all you don't need to worry about the computer so in your premium in your free edition you don't get an option for serverless uh, you don't get an option for all purpose compute job compute it's just a serverless so even uh, they have spending around 100 million dollars on this free edition just to make it available for everyone around the planet just to get started with databricks so you don't need to worry about the compute attach the serverless compute here and start using it if you are using only sql queries then you can go to compute you can just select the serverless warehouses you can just start it from here you cannot upgrade this they are just giving you a 2x small size if your use case is writing only the sql queries you can use this but if you say no i'll build python i'll i need a uh, uh, pyspark pandas no worries just go to the respective notebooks and you can i guess this is the notebook yeah then you can attach the serverless compute so remember in free edition there are two computes one is just a serverless it works very similar to all purpose compute and the job compute but it's even more advanced than that you don't need to worry about the infrastructure and you don't need to uh, worry about the uh, spin up time also serverless takes just five seconds and you have a serverless sql also okay only sql command will work on this okay so yeah that's all about the types of computes guys i hope you uh, understood and you can start developing it start building it on the free edition using a serverless compute and if you are asking me how do i automate this even you can automate it you can schedule this by using the same serverless compute you don't need to worry about the job compute here so all purpose compute job compute are mixed and uh, or you can say it's combined together to give you the best performance by using a serverless compute all thanks to the databricks yeah that's all for this video guys i guess uh, the length of the video is really long but i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you got some uh, valuable from this uh, video understanding all the types of computes thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel see you in the next video bye bye